sets up and then I'll put it uh, in the ocean uh, and probably hang it off the side of the boat as soon as I can. So anyway, that's the process. These are Pacillopore Damacornis and uh, this particular tray has about, I guess, 55 or so fragments in a very small area. You can see how small this area is. So it's an extremely efficient way to propagate corals. Stony corals are very easy, as you can see. Super, super easy. I've done more than 110 species of stony corals uh, this way. There's an, an LPS too, large polyp stonies, small polyp stonies. Uh, I can do most of them. There's only a few species that I wasn't successful doing. Um, soft corals are a whole other thing, and I'll, I'll, sh I'll be doing a video on that in just a minute. Uh, but at this point, when you have these in the cube, once they set up, there's a number of things you can do. You can actually uh, take the cube and directly uh, plant the cube itself in the ocean on a reef. Take a drill, you know, hand drill, and have the drill bit equal to the diagonal of the cube right here. That diagonal right there equals the drill bit. Drill hole in the reef, and it's, you know, it's, it's limestone, calcium carbonate, so it's really soft, and just plug it in, and then you're done. Or, you can take the cube and put it in a bigger rock, which has a, a, a hole, a female hole, equal to the size of this, and, and then grow it out. Uh, these are great for transporting, for shipping. Um, I've shipped many, many of these just using uh, UPS and FedEx, and they come through great. Um, so anyway, that's the process, uh, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Try to keep it short and sweet. See ya.